Damn. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. Ba -ba! So, a lot of things have been happening in Immersus for the past few months. We got a whole new planet. We got a planetary travel network for it, which is player owned, which adds great value to it. We got a combat rework, and we got the animals back, and uh, they don't have superpowers this time. We got big boss bear, you can pound with your friends. <clears throat> we got tokenized NFTs and a dex for it, so you can more conveniently swap tools and weapons or resources if you need different ones. We got new armor and reworked combat stats with a new and more engaging leveling system for it. Now. All of these are big and exciting and I'll touch on all of them briefly, but it goes to show that the team is here to actually make something that players can enjoy and want to play and is already enough to make it the best crypto game out there. Not, not that there's a lot of competition, anyway. Okay, so now I click mine, and then I, then I collect, oh, okay, and, and it's done, and now I wait. A year ago when I discovered the Mercis, I already said it's my favorite crypto game and ever since then it just kept improving and releasing new content throughout the bear market where the other 99% of crypto games all sat down at a long table and collectively ate shit. A few months ago in full bear market, Immersus became officially played to earn with the release of the burn mechanic and it is still by far the best wax earner out there out of all the wax games because you can play for free and actually earn more wax in an hour than with 90% of other wax games or crypto games where you have to invest $400 to even start the game. Trust me, I, uh, I know. But if all of this wasn't enough, there is one more new thing that they added, which in my opinion, clearly, 100% objectively, makes Immersus the best crypto game out there right now. GOAT. We have GOAT in-game. I love GOAT. Goat are cute. Goat are fun. Goat are rad. If you don't like goats, you're a sociopath. That's actually the test they make you take at the psych evaluation. You like goat? No? Too bad. Time to die, motherfucker. That's right. I was the sociopath all along. So, let's actually check out all the new things. I'll briefly touch on all of them now, and I'll do a more in-depth guide on everything in my Hitchhiker's Guide to Immersus series. But let's start with the new planet, which has been out for, uh, for a while now, but I was too busy being in a K-hole. Altamoria. You get to it by going into the portal from the Sphere of Fate. Alright, oh, uh, you spawn in a spaceship now? It's called the Sphere of Fate? Yeah. It's smaller in size than Aurora, but just as much fun. Here is where you need a license to be able to access it, or travel ticket, or whatever it is, which costs 25,000 fate, out of which 20,000 goes to the network owners. You can find the animals here, the new blueprints, some new resources, and the big boy bear, and I'm sure with many other things to come to it. And since we are here, let's go check out the big boy bear. Now, if you do it the legit way, it's quite a lot of fun and, you know, actual gameplay. Okay, so I claim my staking rewards, which are fucking useless. Guess I'll come back tomorrow. And if you do it the non-legit way, then um, you're probably doing what everyone else will be doing. But like I said, they are always working on it and trying to make it the best they can, so a lot of these things will change. Combat. Now, we have better defined stats and levels. You can go aggressive, or defensive, or both. You can actually grind to be a higher level and pound the noobs, and the visuals are or better, I guess. I, I see nothing wrong with the old one. We got of course some new armor you can buy from the Fate Shop, and some new blueprints for better armor that drop from the animals and from the big boy himself. And for all of that, we got a decentralized exchange where you can swap NFTs for different NFTs or NFTs for tokens or tokens for NFTs or wax for Fate or tokens for Fate or Fate for wax or wax for tokens for Fate for gear for tear. You, you get the point. It's basically a decentralized exchange for the game. Neat. So anyway, these are just the major changes that happened in the past few months, with a lot of small changes that, uh, you know, I didn't mention, and I'm sure with a lot of new big changes to come. Also, did I mention we have a goat?